Bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Welcome to junior elementary STEM class. Our lesson today is called the Rube Goldberg Simple Machine, part two. For today's lesson, you will need one piece of Bristol board, two full skewers, one half skewer, a ruler, a roll of masking tape, a graphite pencil, and a pair of scissors. Let's take a look at the Grube Goldberg machine. This machine was named after American cartoonist Rube Goldberg, and it's a machine intentionally designed to perform a simple task in an indirect and overly complicated way. Usually, these machines consist of a series of simple, unrelated devices. The action of each triggers the initiation of the next, eventually resulting in achieving a stated goal. Our lesson today is about a lever. This is a simple machine made of a rigid beam and a fulcrum. The effort, input force, and load, output force, are applied to either end of the beam. The fulcrum is the point on which the beam pivots. When an effort is applied to one end of the lever, a load is applied at the other end of the lever. A small force over a long distance converts to a large force over a short distance. There are three classes of levers. Each is classified by the relative positions of the fulcrum, effort, and resistance or load. A class one lever has the fulcrum placed between the effort and load. The effort is pushed downwards. A class two lever has the fulcrum placed at the end of the rigid beam on the other side of the load. The effort is pulled upwards. A class three lever has the fulcrum placed above the end of the beam. The load is at the start of the beam and the effort is pulled upwards from the middle. Now let's take a look at some levers that we see every day and see if you can answer these questions. Where do we exert force? Where is the fulcrum? What is the load? And what class is it? Let's start with the teeter-totters. We exert force when we push down at the high end of the beam. The fulcrum is in the middle. The load is the child at the lower end of the beam. And this is a class one lever. What about a wheelbarrow? We exert force when we pull up on the handles. The fulcrum is at the wheel. The load is whatever you put in the wheelbarrow. And this is a class two lever. All right, let's build our own model lever. Start with your piece of bristle board. Take your skewer and line it up with the bottom edge of your bristle board and mark the top edge of the skewer with your pencil. Now take your ruler and line it up with the edge of the bristle board as well as your marker and trace the other edges of your ruler. This will make a nice rectangle for your beam. Now cut out your rectangle to have the piece for your beam.
Now your beam will not be stiff enough to make a, a, a good lever. So let's attach the skewers to it. So line it up along the edge and use a piece of tape to fasten the, the skewer to your piece of bristle board. When you're taping it, make sure that you wrap the tape all the way around the bristle board to make sure it is secure. Let's add a piece of tape at the other end of the skewer as well. Make sure it doesn't move. Now let's add a second skewer at the other side of the bristle board, just to make sure that your beam is as stiff and solid as it can be. All right, now with your ruler, from where you cut the top of your beam, let's make a straight line to get a nice square and cut that out of your bristle board. Once you've cut it out, let's fold it in half. Now make sure that the top and bottom edges as well as the corners line up perfectly to get the exact center of your square. Now unfold it and line up the center of your ruler with the fold that you just created. And draw a line on either side of the ruler. Fold the, uh, the cardboard up against both sides of the ruler. This will create the sides of your fulcrum. Now you need your fulcrum to be triangular, so turn your cardboard to the side and create another center fold. Now that you have, know where the center is, draw some lines that line up with that center to the side folds that you already created. This is just to make sure that the sides are triangular. So cut out those edges that you just drew to make triangles on either side. This will make a nice triangular fulcrum, see? Now use your half skewer to poke a hole through near the top of the triangle. Poke the hole through both sides. If you find this difficult, don't hesitate to ask mom and dad for help. Once you've poked it through, put a piece of tape underneath the skewer and then place the fulcrum in the middle of your beam. Rub down the tape onto the beam so it sticks there. Make sure your tape doesn't touch any of the fulcrum cardboard. Once you've got it, you now have your lever. Thank you, my friends, for joining Junior Elementary STEM class. Merci beaucoup. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I will see you next week. Until then, au revoir.